This is the BMS battery monitoring system. It's not a battery management system. It was supposed to be because I added all these FETs, but it never did. Literally all it does is it reads out the voltage of whatever cell you plug into that. There's one of the AT Tiny 85s missing there because I used it for something else. Anyway, I want to do this for the supercapacitor bank. Um, so that was the first version that I did, but that was just, just a, that was just a 3S. Now, this is a 10S, uh, which hasn't worked properly because I'm using 3.3 volts. I'm not going to explain it because I can't be bothered, but it doesn't work on 3.3 volts. It's to do with voltage, with, with, with the current drain and voltage sag and everything. I need 5 volts, unlimited current. It doesn't work anyway. So now I've got my version. This is the next version that I'm working on. These I'll just put in there so as I know what tracks I've got to cut. And I've marked it all out so you know in actual fact I can do that now. There you go. So I know now that I've got to cut these tracks in between. Obviously the sideways things I've got to cut because I don't want any link in between the ICs in the middle between themselves that was it uh, and then I've got to cut also so I've got to cut one of these somewhere to stop that from linking and then I've also got to cut down there somewhere to stop those two from linking that sort of thing this has got a TNC 3.5 or a 3.6 I can't remember it's the 5 volt version I think it's the 3.5 uh, which obviously is 5 volts, so I can take 5 volts on the digital um, inputs but it's also PWM, I can do PWM inputs as well so I'm going to make this into a breadboard as a prototype and then I'm going to make this into a PCB and it's going to be my first ever PCB so wish me luck I'll take that off and then I'll start cutting all these tracks out and basically reproducing this because this works rather well but it does need progression I do need to, to, to make it better I need smoothing capacitors and stuff like that to, to take out all the ripples this is version 2 I think it is uh, which worked perfectly but the only trouble is I've got no room for expansion not at all. Plus which this is a Teensy 3.5 and I wanted to use a 3.6 but the problems are is it's 3.3 volts on inputs and everything but that worked. So I thought I'd do another version which is this one. So this is now running on a Teensy 4.1 uh, all the cells are numbered there like that and it goes up to super capacitor bank now it needs calibrating still but I have actually got it down stable to one millivolt it does fluctuate up and down I don't know why there's a decimal point on there shouldn't be so it's working it just needs calibrating uh, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare to calibrate it I have to get my Arduino Uno, that was it. Get my Arduino Uno, which I've converted to do AT Tiny 85s, plug it into there, program it through that, and every single cell has to be calibrated. I'm still trying to figure out a way to do it in software rather than um, having to take the ICs out all the time. But it's stable, it works. I am so happy. It's a massive achievement, to be honest, <laughs> it is for me.
piece of shit. This is a main board off an Ant BMS uh, that I've been methodically taking parts off to try and figure out where the problem is. Um, I don't know if it's going to work again. I've got well, I've got to put them all back on, but I don't know where they go. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, this this had a bit of a fire. Uh, it was sent to me as a as a spare if I need it. I don't know what happened. I, the 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 processors, both of the processors, burnt out. But anyway, I've taken it off. Uh, taken all the bits off. I've got my hot air gun. Literally heated it up and wiped them off sort of and a bit more in between uh, these are or they used to be shift registers uh, more shift registers and an STM32 and an Atmel 328 I think it is I want to know how this works so I've taken all the components off because I can't test check all the routing with the components on because of the resistance at the cores and so, I've now got it apart. I can't, for the life of me, see how this works. How it switches and gets the voltage off each of the cells. It's so... You won't believe how complex it is. So I'm gonna make my own. I've already tried to, and it does work, but I want one this accurate with the functions that this has got.